This is an apple picture graph. We're going to use the data on this graph to answer the questions below. So let's go ahead and look at question number one. Question number one says, how many red apples are there? Well, let's look at the red apples. When we count the apples, we don't count the very first one because that's just telling us that this is the red apple category. But we count the rest, so let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can see that there's six red apples. Let's look at question number two. Question number two says, how many green apples are there? Let's count the green apples, but remember, don't count the first one. Here we go. One, two, three. So we can see that there's three green apples. Okay, let's go ahead and go down to question number three, and here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So let's look at question number three. Question number three says, how many more red apples are there than green apples? How many more? So we want to look at the apples. And one thing that we can do to kind of help with this is we can match them up. So let's do that. Let's match the red apple to the green, red to the green, red to the green, and then let's go ahead and circle the extra. You can tell by looking at this picture that there's definitely more red apples than there are green. But the question is, how many more red apples are there than green? You can tell by what we've circled, but if you're still having a hard time understanding this, you can ask yourself, how many more green apples would I need to add in order for them to be equal? Okay, and you can see that you would need to add three more apples. So there are three more red apples than green. Okay, let's look at question number four. Question number four says, how many fewer green apples are there than red apples? So for this question, you can ask yourself, how many red apples would I need to take away? Because that's how many less there are. That's how many fewer there are. So you can see, again, you would have to take away those three that are circled in order for them to be equal. So there are three fewer green apples than red. Okay, here's another graph. This graph is a scarecrow and a crow picture graph. So let's look at question number one. We're going to use the data on this picture graph again to answer the questions below. So let's go ahead and look at question number one. Question number one says, how many scarecrows are there? So we're going to count the scarecrows. Remember, we don't count that first one, but we count the others. So here we go. There are one, two, two scarecrows. Now let's go down to question number two. And question number two says, how many crows are there? So let's count the crows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We can see that there's five crows. Okay, let's go to question number three. And question number three says, how many more crows are there than scarecrows? So remember, what we're going to do to help with this is we're going to match them up. So let's match up the scarecrow to the crow, scarecrow to the crow, and then let's go ahead and circle the extra. Okay, so you can tell by looking at this graph how many more crows there are than scarecrows. But if you're still having a hard time understanding it, you can ask yourself, how many more scarecrows would I need in order for them to be equal? And you could see that you would need to add three more scarecrows for it to be equal to the crows. So there are three more crows than scarecrows. Okay, let's look at question number four. Question number four says, how many fewer scarecrows are there than crows? So we're going to ask ourselves, how many would we have to take away? How many crows would we have to take away in order for them to be equal? Because that's how many is missing. That's how many fewer there are. That's how many less there are. 
And you can see, again, it's the same, 3. We'd have to take away those three, those three crows. So there are three fewer scarecrows than crows. Okay, here's another graph, and this graph is the rake and leaf picture graph. We're going to use the data on this graph to answer the questions below. So let's go ahead and look at question number one. Question number one says, how many leaves are there? So let's count the leaves. Don't count the first one because it's telling us this is the leaf category. Let's count the rest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can see that there are nine leaves. Let's look at question number two. Question number two says, how many rakes are there? So let's count the rakes. One, two, three, four. There are four rakes. Now we're going down to question number three. Question number three says, how many more leaves are there than rakes? So we're going to match them up. Let's go ahead and match. Leaf to rake. Leaf to rake. Leaf to rake, leaf to rake, and let's circle the extra leaves. Okay, so you should be able to look at this graph, and you should be able to see how many more leaves there are than rakes. But if you still can't figure that out, if you still don't understand it, ask yourself, how many more rakes would I need in order for them to be equal? and you can see that you need those five leaves in order for them to be equal. So there are five more leaves than rakes. Let's look at question number four. Question number four says how many fewer rakes are there than leaves? You can see that there's less rakes. So how many less? And I ask myself, how many leaves would I have to take away in order for them to be equal? And you can see I would still have to take away those five leaves that are circled. So there are five less, five fewer rakes than leaves.